So the course on water resource engineering aims to acquaint civil engineering students with various aspects of hydrologic cycle and hydraulic processes that are relevant for assessing flood risks as well as engineering design of hydraulic structures including open channels and dams. As you can see that number of topics that are involved are, are huge in number and hence meticulous planning was must specifically when we are delivering this in an online. So what was unique about this course? CE308 was a flipped classroom course and a flipped classroom course essentially has two components. First component is where students go to their homes and they study the topic beforehand when we meet in the class and when we meet in the class we use that time for live problem solving uh, doubt clearance sessions where students would come prepared with the questions and difficulties they had while going through particular concepts. In CE308, we exactly did the same thing. I would pre-record the lectures, upload them on my YouTube channel. Students would watch them at their own convenience, at their own pace. But before we come to a class, they would know which topics they have to cover so that we solve large number of problems and try to have in-depth discussion about that particular topic. Now, since this was a flipped classroom course, what logistics are required at instructors and students end? So I will start with the instructor side. I would use my iPad where I would write on screen as I'm teaching the live class. And then uh, I will upload these lectures after editing on some professional software that I also learned as I was required to, to, to make this course a success. And at the student's end, you all you need is a workable internet connection. We understand that uh, many of our students, they do not come from urban areas where you would have high bandwidth. So we have to be mindful of that. And that's where I used YouTube as a, a platform of choice because that there they can watch these videos in, in as low resolution as 260p. And those who have access to good internet connection, they may watch it in, in full HD. So from instructor side, I would need a computer and a sophisticated uh, recording setup that I, I set up myself. And then students would need a workable internet connection. Now the most important question, how did students find the course? So based on how students were active throughout the semester and based on the course reaction survey, I can safely say that students were very well engaged throughout the semester. They were not lost in the course. They were not fiddling with the basic logistics such as working internet, etc. Uh, and what course reaction surveys suggests me that they love the idea of the classroom as they were totally engaged in the course. Um, learning objectives were fully specified before the course began and we were able to achieve what we promised in the beginning of the semester. What's next? So I will be offering this CE308 in the upcoming semester again uh, to the next batch of uh, civil engineers and I plan to use this flipped classroom approach again. Now good thing is that this semester videos are already pre-recorded. I can experiment with a few things specifically including hands-on component more strongly, evenly pacing the course content throughout the semester and engage students more in hands-on activity. So I I'm, I have become a firm believer that for courses where you have extensive material to cover and uh, students are not in front of you, this flipped classroom approach actually came to uh, rescue for me big time. Uh, and uh, I hope that students continue learning 